Tell Rakateyahua, Rakateyahua Shay, Rakateyahua, Rakateyahua Shay, Rakateyahua, Rakateyahua Shay. First and foremost, want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shay, Bashem Rakakodash, the blindness of the apostles and elders who rule well a great millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akims and the folk on the earth, who push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom. This evening, come to a uh, a lesson this article, you know, YT News Post, right? It say um, the U.S. leave hypocritical and self-serving UN Human Rights Council, and this was published on the 19th of June, 2018. Right? It's um. Washington has decided to walk out of the UN Human Rights Council, accusing the body of hypocrisy. The US has long seated concern about the body's anti anti Israel bias. Secretary of State Mike Pompey and the US envoy to the UN Nikki Haley announced the decision at a press conference Tuesday afternoon. The U.S. is officially withdrawing from the U.N. Human Rights Council, Haley said, calling it a hypocritical and self-serving organization that make a mockery of human rights. We say American particip par participation is, is the last share of credibility the council has. Haley argued that that is precisely that is precisely why we must leave. The Human Rights Council is a poor defender of human rights. Worse than that, it has become an exercise in shamelessness, hypocrisy, Pompey said, blasting the council for passing more resolution against Israel than against the rest of the world combined. So you 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 devils, you know, you devils are guilty. You so called Jewish people, you are guilty. You know, use the one that fun all the all all the, 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 the wars, you know, go into go into the, the, this nation. They use America to go into this nation, you know, to, to, to defy the people and steal the resources, you know. You kill you 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 kill kill you know millions of the Native American Indians, the so called Negroes, the so called um, Latinos, you know, you you're going into this nation and destroying them. You know, you you devil's guilty of cha of charge. But we are Obashem Yahushai doing. He put in he put in this devil against each, each other. So at least these are these are the heathen nation, right? And these um and these are the Edomites. They come against America and, um, and Israel, which 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 the heavenly Father is the he is the mustard, at mustard the host the host of the battle. He's who causing this rift, right? Our praise to say our Bashim Yahushai, we see the crumbling and the falling of our enemies. Israel Prime Minister Netanyahu thanked the US for the courageous decision to leave the body, which is called a biased, hostile anti anti Israel organization that has that has betrayed a mission of protecting human rights. You protecting human rights, you kill over hundred Palestinians protesting against against moving the um, US embassy to to, 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 um, to Jerusalem. You understand? You kill over a hundred, over a hundred um, Palestinians. You talking about protecting human rights? You people are the hey, you so called people are the devil. That's why y'all bashing y'all shaking and wipe you devil off the face of the planet, right? You devil, you are, you are, you are cancer in the earth, right? He said the U.S. decision, U.S. decision to leave the this presages body is um on un, unquivocal, unquivocal. If pronouncing the word right. If I'm pronouncing the word right, you know the heavenly father gonna destroy you, devil. You understand? Most are gonna destroy, destroy you, devil, from off the face. You have to before before you, you devil gotta solve your slavery force, right? You understand? Yeah, he said um, the U.S. decision to leave this prejudiced body, right? Um, unequivocal, right? 
is an unequivocal statement that enough is enough. Netanyahu said, Israel welcomed the American announcement. Yeah, because the scriptures also said he released the flag on the draw them out. You understand? Which is Israel. Where they are the least of the flag. They are, they are the tribe of Amalek, which is the head tribe of Esau. Right? The scripture say you are first and you, and you shall be last. Right? He said this is the first time a member of the council would leave the body voluntarily. The U.S. was halfway through its third year term <laughs> on the 47 member panel. You know, they always breaking the treaty. This is the devil. Right? On Monday, the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, right, which is Al, Al Hussein, criticized Washington over the un unconscionable policy of separating children from from immigrants of immigrants who cross the border illegally and holding them in detention center, right? These are so-called Mexican, right? Um, it, and this is what this was in Texas, right? And the whole of the Southwest belongs to who? The so called the so called um, the so called Native Americans, the so called Mexicans, right? The whole of the Southwest belongs to these 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 Israelites. They you devil scheme and meet them they are you devil kill them and take the land and put them in subjection, but we we you know the men and the Lord we know that this this is our spiritual because we was being wicked. But you so called white people is, is you are the you are the illegal immigrant. You are the illegal immigrant. Your land is monks here. That's why you devil is gonna be destroyed. You understand? This is these people land, which is the Israelites. You come and meet them there. Right? You come and meet them there. You devil is gonna be destroyed. Right, you devil's gonna be destroyed. Right? It's uh I call on the U I call on the United States to immediately end the practice of force force and separation of these children, Al Al Hussein said, while the timing of the US exit from the UN body coincide with this criticism, Washington objection is to objection objection to the human rights council over over the year have mostly been in regard to Israel. <laughs> the least of the flag gonna draw them out. You understand? The least of the flag gonna draw them out. Ambassador Haley has accused the council of relentless um pathology. No, I don't pronounce the word right. Patholo patho pathological yeah pathological campaign against Israel and said the US would leave unless the body get rid of its panic anti anti Israel bias shortly after its establishment in 2006 the council vote to make a review of alleged human rights abuse by Israel a parliament future of every session known as agenda item seven likewise the body special uh, rapporteur on the israel palestinian conflict is the only expert whose man whose mandate is not time limit right yeah this could be said at least the flag on the draw them out it's a george w bush administration boycott the council at its Inception, but the Obama administration this, um, decided to re-engage with the body in 2009. Even so, in 2011, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton accused the Council of um, Structural Bias against Israel. Right? So, Israel is going to be destroyed too. You know, the scripture says Israel, Israel, the land of Israel shall shake, and how they going to shake by those missiles? Right? He said domestically, some criticized Palestinian Salaki. Some criticize uh, of President Donald Trump are setting the move as poor uh, proof his administration does not believe in human rights and rule of law. The decision sent send a clear message that the Trump administration does not intend to lead the world when it comes to human rights, said Senator Chris Boone, 
is a D. Delaware who served on the Foreign Relations Committee, leaving the council is unlikely any intimidate pra uh, practical uh, implication for the U.S. diplomacy, aside from allowing the UN body, UN body to continue condemnation of Israel without much in the way of opposition last month. He said, when the council vote to investigate the killing of over 100 Palestinians in protests along the Israel-Gaza border and accused Israel of ex exclusive force, only, you, only the U.S. and Australia vote against Right when when it, when it, when it was alleged that President Assad, of Syria, you know, used chemical against his people, y'all went in and bomb him. So why you why why you devils not going to bomb Israel? They use excess force. They kill over hundreds of Palestinian. Right, and these Palestinian wasn't wasn't harmed with with, with, with guns. You know, our planes our planes are tanks. You understand? But the scripture said, "You least of the flag gonna draw you devils out, right?" You understand? This this is beautiful to see. You know, our enemy, you know, in the chaos, you know, they they, they see they see the kingdom crumbling right before your eyes. You know. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter fifty verse forty five. Therefore, hear he the counsel of the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai. So hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai. That he had taken against Babylon, which is America, right, and his purpose that he had proposed against the land of the Chaldeans. So the Chaldeans today is the so-called, uh, we call it the Illuminati, which is the Rockchild Rockefeller bank, the banking family. They are the Chaldeans, known as they, they know as the so-called wise men, right? Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Right and the Chaldeans, which is which is the um, the least of the flock is the is the is the head tribe, right? Is the head tribe is is the, um, the so-called Jewish people, which is the tribe of Amalek, right? And he says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. Yeah, they're gonna be big, they're gonna be desolate. You understand? It's it, it, it gonna be desolate because America gonna, America gonna, gonna be destroyed by Trump and nuclear missile. Ah, so, ah, no, no, so Israel shall be shaken with missile. Missile is gonna hit Israel too, right? So the least of the flag gonna draw them out, right? Which is the head tribe of Amalek. They are, they are the devil too. They are Isa, who they, they, they know today as the so called Jewish people. Right? Let me read this again. Jeremiah 15 45 said, Therefore, here he. The counsel of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that that he had taken against Babylon and and his purpose that he had proposed against the land of the Chaldeans, which is America. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out, which is the so-called Jewish people. They are the least of the flock. That's why you see America defending them in the in the UN Council, the Human Rights Council defending them, right? Surely he shall make her. So like surely he shall he shall make their habitation desolate with them, right? So they're gonna be destroyed, right? They're gonna be destroyed. Um Ezekiel um thirty thirty eight start from uh, verse sixteen. Alright, they can be destroyed, right? This is Ezekiel chapter thirty eight, verse sixteen. He said, and thou shalt come up against my people of Israel as a cloud to cover the land. It shall be in the latter days, and I will bring thee against my land, which is the land of Israel, that the, that the heathen, the heathen dwell inside the land. Who is the heathen dwell inside the land? The tribe of Amalek and the Palestinian, which is the, which is the Arabs, right? He said that the heathen may know me. When, when I shall be sanctified in thee, O Gog, this is Gog is with the so-called Russian, before their eyes. Because the most segment use Gog and Magog and Gog allies, which, which Persia, which is, which is Iran today, is one of Gog allies, and, and Turkey, right? And many more allies that can join with um, Gog, right? 
to destroy these devils. Even America, even American allies is going to shoot Mr. Elisha too. Revelation 17, 16. It said, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yashad Power, Are thou he of whom I have spoken in old times by my servants, the prophets of Israel? So the, only, the, only the Israelites as prophets, the, that the most I choose, the 144,000 men, they are Israelites and they are, they are the prophets. You understand? Which prophesied in those days, many years, that, that I would bring thee against them and it shall come to pass at the same time when the God shall come against the land of Israel <laughs> God will come against the land of Israel said the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yashai power that my fury shall come up in my face for for in my jealousy and in the fire of my fury Salaki Salakia for in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath, I have spoken. Surely in that day, there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel. It's when the missile is going to hit, right? So Israel is going to be destroyed too, right? Israel is going to be destroyed, right? For all the wickedness that you, you soak away within in the face of the earth, Israel is going to be destroyed. The land got to be cleansed. Before the so-called um, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians go back into the land, the land, the land, the land gotta be cleansed, right? Let me close off with one. Let me get this one in. Um, uh, I think it's Deuteronomy. Um, yeah, the land. The most I gonna most I gonna cleanse that land, and he gonna use the missiles to do it, right? Most. Musa can use the missile to do it. You understand? Um, 25. Alright. Musa can use the missile to cleanse that land. This is Deuteronomy 25 and 19. Therefore it shall be when the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahashai, thy power had given thee rest from all thy enemies wrong and about in the land which the Lord that the Hawa Bashim Yahshai that power had given thee. This is going into the Israelite when they're gonna rest in the kingdom in which land they're gonna rest in the land of Israel, right? For an inheritance to possess it, that thou shalt blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under the heaven, thou shalt not forget it. So after a thousand years of slavery for you devils, we're gonna blot out the remembrance of you devils, right? You so called white people gonna be blot out. You understand? That's what's gonna happen to you devils, right? For all the wickedness that you do, there's your judgment, right? You understand? We're gonna blot you out, right? Obadiah 1 and 18, right? All the wickedness you devil did. It says, Omadiah chapter 1, verse 18, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau, you so called white people, for a stubble. And they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and, they, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, you so called white people, for the Lord Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh had spoken it. So after a thousand years of slavery, you devils going to be eradicated. You know, for all the crimes that you did on the face of the planet, right? All these wickedness that you're doing, you understand? Your devil's gonna be destroyed, right? And with that, who is less than defying, we wanna give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders who rule well a great my stone, and a blessed sanitation for the Akiyams, the four candy to push in the gospel and sincerity in church, Shalom.